Hey everyone, my name is Harry and I'm the Drylands Restoration Coordinator here at Sunseed. Uh, the purpose of this workshop is just to give you guys a few examples of the ways that we manage water in the area. So the ecosystem you can see is known as a semi-arid dryland and we are located in the southeast of Spain. It's one of the driest regions in Europe. And over time we've seen drier and, and hotter summers uh, together with more intensive rainfall events. And these have uh, amplified the issue of desertification in the area. For us, one of the main challenges we face related to desertification is, is erosion. So erosion is a natural process, um, but it leads to the removal of the thin top um, nutrient rich layer of soil known as the topsoil. And here we have really dry and compact soils, they can't absorb the water as efficiently as, as others. So when we have these intensive rainfall events, um, the surface water that, that is excess, known as runoff, um, takes away with it a lot of nutrients um, and it doesn't get infiltrated into the ground. So it can't be absorbed and it can't be used by the vegetation either. So here at Sunseed we practice uh, several techniques used to increase the soil's infiltration of water and reduce the erosion impact. And now I'm going to show you a few of them. So one of the more common ways to manage water, especially on mountainous areas, is through the use of terracing. And as you can see behind us, the landscape's quite hilly. And in the past, these terraces were cut by farmers for the purpose of agriculture. Uh, they provide a flat surface for cultivation of crops and, and irrigation. What they do actually is, is reduce both the runoff and thus the erosion that comes with that. Um, and it's a way that they have made the landscape more, more usable. So another method that we use here to reduce erosion and maintain water within the system is the use of biodams. And what happens when the rain falls through down the slope um, the sediment is carried with that and it accumulates in this structure to, to kind of close it up. And then this buildup of sediment uh, reduces the slope and also the speed at which the water is traveling. Um, therefore reducing the erosion and, and increasing the infiltration of water back into the soil. So these biodams are quite easy to make. Um, here we use organic materials that is just local stuff. Um, in this case we're using canyas. Um, and then secured by these um, iron bars. And we just weave the canyas through the iron bars um, to guarantee the, the maximum stability and also to ensure that the, the dam will last uh, as long as it can. So one of the other techniques we use here to redirect and harvest uh, runoff is through the use of swales. And a swale is just a trench or a ditch that's been cut level with the ground um, to collect water and any rain uh, run, runoff that runs down the slope uh, instead of being dispersed randomly uh, it is uh, directed into these, these trenches and this ensures that we can guarantee that because it's a, a dry area and it's it's water scarce that there's a maximum chance that that the plants that we plant in the swales will get water so that's it guys uh, thanks for watching these are just a few of the techniques that we use here at Sunseed for ecological restoration, um, but they can be applied to many different, for many different purposes as well, uh, to reduce runoff, uh, increase water infiltration, and manage the erosion. Um, so thanks again. If you have any questions, we please get in touch, and we'd be happy to answer them.